Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. As the title states for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something a little bit different than what I usually post on my channel. However, for today will still be a guide slash base tutorial, so don't worry about that. But as many of you guys know, I've been working on a side on a very cool project that deals with PlayStation Home, and I've been working with a great team of developers and their community to help preserve any data slash assets from PlayStation Home. If you guys don't know what PlayStation Home is, I could basically drop a quick synopsis right now PlayStation home was a social world that started in 2008 back on the ps3 and sadly ended on 2015 however there is a devout community that loves PlayStation home and there has been a lot of research and developers that um has been contributing to bring PlayStation home back via from rpcs3 using a offline build as well as using original PlayStation 3 hardware and that's where it brings me today on to talk about this topic which I need your guys help currently our team is looking for anyone who who still has PlayStation Home on their PS3 and any data that we can attain can help the overall preservation and restoration for home to be back online. But with that being um, out the way just for a quick intro, if you guys been following my channel or if you're just you know interested in this project, we did manage to run a offline developer build in 2019. I do highly recommend to go ahead and check out my video on that and we've managed to run at least Harvest Studios and some other scenes in home so that's why it's very important by you know preserving data and such like that so we can even get you know home to run generally offline so without you know people donating um their caches and any builds to us we wouldn't even be able to run home last year but with that being um out the way i do want to state some disclaimers um that this project is purely for preservation and educational purposes only and i do want to list some key things to know and prerequisites for today's video about this project so by preserving home's catch data, it helps the development team to analyze any network data packets that was stored onto the user's HCD when utilizing home servers. And as well for this process, as you need either a HEN or CFW PlayStation 3 that has PlayStation Home still on its XMB, aka your home screen. And if you do have a older version of home, please do not update because it could have older data that can be very useful for us. I know the latest build is 1.87, but for example, if you have like a really old beta version of home that you never you know access after you know years upon years it's really useful to get that data since um home had different versions and builds and they use different data and assets throughout you know time while home was active some of the key things to know um if you do upload a cash touch which would be very thankful and you know any data to us you could follow um these websites right here and upload your data to google drive mega or media fire or alternative you could share your home catch data to our file sharing uh, channel via in the PlayStation Home Discord and later on in the video I'll show you guys our Discord and anything that I state or any useful links will always be in the link in the description down below some other key things to note our team is also looking for any um, home builds this includes the following so development builds debug early beta builds um and here are the content IDs via for the PlayStation 3 so NPA or EA 0013 which I think is beta home and MPIA 0010, which is developer home and any HDKs of that nature. So if any um old project or basically any old uh, X home developers are watching this video, um please get in contact with us because any information, as I stated before, is very useful for us. But for today's video with all of that getting out the way for some key things to know i'm going to be talking about today's prerequisite uh what you need to help us you know preserve your data if you do have any data on your system so you need a jailbroken ps3 that is on cfw or a ps3 that is on hen um so for example you could use something like rebug 4.85 or 4.84 it doesn't matter if it's on kex or dex um if you're on hen you could use the latest version like hfw 4.84 or excuse me 4.85 and as well 4.84 will work as long as your PlayStation 3 could have access to Multiman you're basically good for this um, process so you also need the latest version of Multiman there are two versions so if there is one for Hen and as well there's one for CFW I will have the links for that in the link in the description down below and either you could use a USB that's formatted to FAT32 or you could use files of the FTP client to transfer your files over with that being stated out the way I just want to give a special thanks out to Project Destination Home for allowing me to showcase this to you guys and don't forget um if you 
need any help, feel free to join our Discord. I will have a little screenshot right here on the screen. You can type in that link or you just link look in the link in the description down below and check out our official PlayStation Home Discord. But with that being said, I do apologize for my intro being long, but I'm gonna show you guys on how to archive home data from your systems. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the steps in the prerequisites, we could go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. But before we even get started on transferring files over to our device so we could pull our PlayStation Home cache data, I do wanna go ahead and state some key notes as of right now. So first things first, please make sure your device is modded in some shape or form. So if you're PlayStation 3, make sure it's running custom firmware or it's on hen, or if you have a debug PlayStation 3, more than likely you already know what to do for that, but make sure your device can run homebrew for this example another thing that i do want to state as well um if you don't have a modded playstation 3 but you're still interested into donating your cash and you want to go ahead and hack your ps3 i will have a card right now showcasing on how you can mod your playstation 3 on the latest firmware via with hen it does work with all models of the playstation 3 so whether if you have the original fat model or if you have the slim or super slim you can all do this on the latest firmware so it's applicable for all systems and you could go ahead and watch that video get your um device modded and then you could come back to here to follow along with the guide for you know pulling your PlayStation home asset data via your cache but with that being all out the way we're going to go ahead and focus on today's two files and we're going to go ahead and plug in our usb in so First things first, um, here is the two files we're gonna be talking about today, Multiman, which is basically a homebrew for the PlayStation 3 that allows us to you know, check our file partition and basically you know, scan all of our data onto our hard drives, or from our hard drives, I should say. There are two versions, so if you guys are on you know, HEN, there is a version for HEN, which is the one that says unofficial. I will both have these files in the link in the description down below so it's easy to find, but what you wanna do is go ahead and drag this onto a a fat 32 usb so what i'm gonna do here is go into my usb drive here is my um uh, usb drive here we're gonna go ahead and check that if it's on formatted to fat 32 so if it's on pro if you go to properties excuse me check your file system if you think it's already on fat 32 congratulations you don't even have to follow these steps and as well you don't even really have to follow this if you already have multi-man in your system this is just for people who are doing this from scratch but with that being stated as of right now let's say if your file system is via on like xfat or if it's on ntfs you basically need to reformat your usb drive so for example if you have any data on a usb drive unless it's a new one i do recommend go ahead back it up onto your pc or to another usb flash drive or sd card because anytime you reformat your data onto your usb it will erase all of your data on your drive so please be sure to back it up um if you have any content but assuming that you already have a blank usb drive or you already backed up your content all you got to do is right click on to the usb drive itself go into properties or you know or excuse me right click on it and then go into format not properties but once you hit format, you should go and figure out this section right here. So here is the file system. All you gotta do, if your thing is on NTFS or XFAT, go ahead and switch it to FAT32. Where it says allocation unit size, you can just put it to default. Um, volume label, this is the label you can name your USB drive. I just keep mine's blank just for, you know, whatever reason you can name it to whatever you want to but i'm just going to leave mine blank but make sure um this is an important part as well to have this quick format toggled on and make sure it's check mark and then hit start then where it says format local disk you want to go ahead and hit okay this is the same warning i was just giving y'all earlier by formatting um this usb drive it will erase all of its data on its disk so just go ahead and hit okay once you understand that statement and then once it's fully done um, you'll get a little notification on the screen right here that says format complete hit OK and then if we go ahead and open back out our um, USB drive so the one right here you can see if we go back into the local disk go into properties we're on FAT32 so as of right now you guys should be on a FAT32 USB and now we could transfer over multi-man so if you're on hen go ahead and drag this one over the one that says unofficial if you're on CFW or something like rebug ferox or just uh you know a dev kit or debug kit you could go ahead and transfer over multi-man via that way most people already have multi-man on their um ps3s i know but this is just for as i stated before new people who are doing this but 
Assuming that you got Multiman installed onto your device, let me go ahead and just drag over the head one for tutorial purposes. Just choose the one that supports your system. But assuming um, both of your Multiman packages are on your USB that's formatted to FAT32, all we gotta do is close out our local drive, go and hit this arrow right here, where it says safely remove hardware and eject disk, go ahead and go to that. And you wanna safely eject your USB drive. So I know mine's is a G since that's the one we formatted. And once it's safely um, you know, ejected out of your um, PC, what we're gonna do is take that same USB drive, put it into the rightmost USB port onto our PlayStation 3, and then we're gonna go and get our PlayStation Home data transferred. So I'll show you guys on how to do that now. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps on the PC, we are ready to go and get this started on the PlayStation 3 side of things. So as of right now, you should have your USB into the rightmost USB port onto your device and it should be the one that's closest to your disk drive. But with that being out the way as well, what we need to do is go ahead and verify that PlayStation Home is on our device. So right here, here's PlayStation Home. Not too sure why I'm having a icon issue. It's probably because I rebuilt my database. But as long as you have PlayStation Home under the PlayStation Network column, that means you still have home intact. Um, as showcased here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get Multi-Man installed. I know I already have it on my device, but I'm just showing you guys on how to do this via on you know custom firmware as well as how to basically do this on hand. So if you're on hand, I will have a picture up right now. Go ahead and enable hand first and then just go into package manager and install it so it's the same steps you just got to do one extra step um if you're on hand but if you want custom firmware like me all you got to do is just go into package manager and go into install package files standard and then install um the 4.85 one if you want cfw if you're on hand go ahead and install the unofficial multiman for the playstation 3 for 4.85 systems but Right here, I'm installing the latest version for Multiman, so it won't take long at all. If you already have Multiman, then you could purely skip this uh, step right here, but go ahead and install it. Multiman is right here. So what I'm gonna do now is just boot into the app and then I'll meet you guys into Multiman itself. Alrighty, so as of right now, you should be into Multiman operating system or, you know, the actual Multiman homebrew. If it was your first time, um, you know, utilizing Multiman on your PS3, you may have to go through some, you know, questions and basically all you would have to say is yes. But once you're into Multiman and you see basically this XMB UI on the screen, all you have to do is scroll all the way to the left and you want to go into file manager slash Multiman operating system. So hit X over that. Let me go ahead and close out this folder. But what I'm going to do now is teach you guys on how to actually retrieve PlayStation Home's assets and your cache data. So all we got to do is go into PS3 root, go into dev underscore HDD zero. We need to go into game. And this is where all of your games are located if they are in PKG format. So as we're shown right here, you can see that we have NPIA0005. This is PlayStation Home. And the easiest way on how to tell this is PlayStation Home, if we go into icon zero PNG, you can see the home logo. If I go into NPI005 uh, data, um, you can see that the home icon is there as well. It's very important when we pull our data, we also bring the actual home folder, which is this, and the, also the data folder. Any home content um, you may have, go ahead and pull it. As showcased here, NPA, or excuse me, NPI A0010, this is the developer version of home. So if any devs have this out on their, you know, test kits or something like that, this is home as showcased here, but we're just focusing on the retail portion for today's tutorial. Um, what we, we need to do now, if I go into NPAI or, you know, actually home user directory, you can see I have all of my content here. What we're gonna do is just copy both of these folders, go ahead and hit copy, go into PS3 root, go into dev underscore USB zero zero, and we're just gonna go and paste home here, and it may take a while for it to do. So usually catch files, are you know a certain size so they may be like one to two uh, gigabytes i've seen cat sizes for about three gigabytes so what i'm going to do here is just wait for everything to basically copy over and then um showcase on how it will look via on the pc so
Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps and now all of your cat's data is either onto your USB, what I'm going to do as well is just go onto my USB drive here and you can see our home data is here. All I did was just drag both of my home data to my desktop so all you got to do is drag and drop. I'm not going to do that since I already um, you know, copied it and it will take some time since it was 3 gigabytes my cache data. So as showcased here, here's all of the files that we just got from our PlayStation 3 and this is basically your cache data from home so if i actually go into the mpi or basically places homes file go into user directory you can find your cache here you can also um you know see whatever scenes and it will have a bunch of like dot xml files and just you know assets from home whenever you probably access this back in the day so assuming that you know you got your places home onto your pc what i'm going to do now is also show you guys on how to pull this without a usb so let's say you're doing this via from ftp all you got to do is just open up fazilla ftp client typing your um playstation 3's ip address which mine's is this ip right here yours will be different i will probably have a screenshot edited so you guys can see what i'm saying for this process so once i hit quick connect um it will connect to my playstation 3 it's the same way on how to do it all you got to do is go to dev underscore acd zero go into your game folder go and find mpii or you know playstation home so mpia 0005 user directory and you will find all of your uh playstation home content right here and all you would have to do is just drag and drop to your desktop and basically get your cache data from that way so as stated before cache data is usually either from like one gigabyte to like three gigabytes in size all you would need to do for um our team if you're basically um you know done getting your data is just going and using something like winzip or winwar zipping up your file so for example all you got to do is just label this as i don't know playstation home cache data and then you can just zip all your files up and then once it's fully zipped up all you would have to do is just upload it via to like media fire uh google um you know google drive mega or to our official discord and i'll showcase that right here in the left hand corner once i edit this out this video and of course you could check out the discord in the link in the description down below if you want to upload your files here but yeah essentially that's how easy it is to you know archive some data for home hopefully y'all guys do have some data for us and you know you can share that along with me and the developers and it will help you know preserving home and actually possibly getting it up faster since we can analyze data better that way but with that being said my name is nagas hose revenge hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace